But it's winter starting to settle in, cooling off with a swim is far from most people's minds, but Big Mill City leaders are thinking ahead. They're wanting to make sure kids have a place to go next summer. Newston Bureau Chief Gary Bryan explains what kids could experience. Over two years ago, Swimland in Bicknell was forced to close down. Since then, kids in the small town haven't had a place to cool down during the summer. But that's about to change. There wasn't much activity Tuesday morning at Bicknell's Southside Park. The playgrounds were empty. A commuter or two took a chance to use the park's pull-offs to take a needed break. The last thing on most folks' mind on the first day of December is coming to the park to cool off with some cold water. But that thought isn't far off for Mayor Thomas Estabrook. This is going to be a, uh, a place, not obviously not just for Bicknell, but for all of northern Knox County for sure. Uh, and we're, we're trying to make this as a, another thing that we're trying to do to reinvent the city. Southside Park will soon have its own splash pad. The project will cost around $160,000. Knox County Redevelopment has said it will cover $150,000. Put it where the basketball court currently is. There's actually the basketball court square is not too far off the size of the size of the, what this will be. The splash pad will be the city's answer to replacing their aging pool. For decades, Swimland was the place where Bicknell kids spent their summers. The community got together and raised money and people who did electrical work and poured concrete and all that got together and built that pool and it lasted for 60 years. But in 2018, equipment failures and violations forced its closure. Now sits empty in Northside Park. Its fate is up in the air. I want to I want to believe there's some functional use for it, but we have not come up with it yet. Not one that we can afford anyway. But for now, the summer looks good for kids in the small town of Bicknell. I think this is going to be great. It's going to be something that's going to be there for a long time. Uh, and it just does not have the large costs, both of maintenance and capital improvement that a swimming pool does. Mayor Estabrook says they hope to have the splash pad ready by the end of May. Working from home in Vincennes, Gary Bryan, News 10.